Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I thought in this uh, video I'd specifically feature my Nikita's gift as for whatever reason it's a variety that certain uh, people seem to be particularly interested in. I haven't heard that the persimmons are anything particularly superior to any other persimmons, perhaps it's because it's one of, uh, one of the uh, better ones of the hybrids, but I thought I'd uh, feature it because it's absolutely covered in flower buds this year for the first time. It's never had flowers on it before. Um, I've certainly never had fruit on it before and would, you would think that with the amount of flower buds it's got on it, there must be 30, 40 flower buds. There's a very good chance that it might set one or two small fruit and hold it. But one of the interesting things I've found for me in uh, Nikita's gift, or frustrating things perhaps, is it seems to be the persimmon that the only persimmon I've got that is particularly prone to this to this brown speckling on the leaves um, particularly on the new leaves when they first come out um, and from what I've read and I don't know how much truth there is in it. I mean, it's going to be in a similar compost to the other one, so I don't think it's specifically a nutrient deficiency. But from what I've read, uh, there seems to be a genetic weakness in the Keter's gift as a result of its parentage. Um, and the new growth always seems to have this sort of weakness to it, which means the initial leaves tend to be very small and stunted and they tend to fall off after a very short period of time but once it gets properly going during the season and uh, grows strongly and you can see here this is put on nearly a foot of growth that's not bad I've seen other people's that have done much better but these um, these early leaves in particular tend to be very stunted and weedy but so once it gets going the newer growth doesn't seem to have any deformity or brown spotting on the leaves so it doesn't appear to be on that basis a nutrient deficiency because if it is it would surely have it on the newer growth as it comes out it just seems to be the early start of the season you can see these leaves here same problem all of these new first leaves when it came out are all uh, all not staying on the plant. They best get rid, rid of, to be honest. But um, it doesn't seem to affect the flower buds, as you can see. No real problem when they've got that typical female uh, persimmon shape with the swollen area behind what will be the... Um, sepals or calyx if I remember rightly I think it's the calyx because the flower itself is actually in the center of that calyx and normally when the fruit grows you get this calyx on the end of it but I thought I'd feature this one because the Nikita's gift I said seems to be of particularly interest to people it has the form of the plant tends to have this sort of um, spreading sort of spreading slightly drooping form to it rather than the upright growth of some of the other persimmons but as long as it's relatively healthy and doing its thing I don't mind uh, it just means it's probably going to need more space in the future amongst the other plants because it's less upright um, some of the other Asian ones this one next to it tends to be a lot more upright on its growth this one here is costata I believe let me have a look yeah, this one's a costata and this is a pure Asian persimmon. You can see the leaves are a much darker, more glossy look. I'll bend them over. You can probably see the difference between the leaves between the pure Asian persimmon, which is that one, and the Nikita's Gift, which is a hybrid. I'm not sure what the parents are, parentages are, but nevertheless... Um, He's doing fine despite that. I think I've only got one flower bud on the costata, ironically, even though it's the healthy, healthier looking plant, or two flower buds on the costata, but the Nikita's gift seems to be loaded. Um, it's in a pot that will need replacing next winter, but I'm going to leave it this summer and see what happens. So anyway, that's my Nikita's gift, putting on 
growth at quite a decent rate with loads of flower buds on it which of course I'll keep you updated on so thanks for watching the video I much appreciate it please give me a thumbs up welcome to share the video if you think anybody would be interested please do subscribe to my channel and remember to click on the bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out I'll catch up with you all soon Brett out for now